My absolute favorite animals to hunt are, without a doubt, the, the spiral horn antelope. And Olive Woods actually has all of these species on their property in very close proximity to the lodge. So if you want to come and do a spiral horn grand slam, it's something you can do. It's something I would recommend doing. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. It is, quite, it is quite a difficult hunt to do, but it's something that is so rewarding. So I would definitely recommend it. Yeah, the spiral horn animals, geez, I think some of the most majestic animals to hunt. Um, with your kudu, your bushbuck, um, your nyala. Yeah, I think we've got all of them on the property. Um, the weather plays a big role, you know, if, if it's been dry like it has been in South Africa for the last year or two, it's, it's, it's definitely harder to hunt the spiral horn animals. As soon as you get some rain and the shoots start coming out, the fresh green grass, which they, they feed on as well, time to time, it, um, it makes it a bit easier. In this case, I had the opportunity to shoot a bushbuck, a nice trophy bushbuck, and I had seen that there were plenty of, of bushbuck on this property, and on our first attempt, we were actually unsuccessful. We decided that we'd try to do a kind of ambush approach where we, we sat on a hill early in the morning and waited for a bushbuck to come out. We've come out nice and early, and as the sun comes up and heats up the side of the, the hill, uh, we're expecting the bushbuck to potentially come move up out of the thick bush into the open area. So uh, we're going to be strategic, and we're going to just sit and wait. And if anything comes up, then the, the conditions are really good, so we'll, we'll probably take a shot. But let's see how it plays out. We saw plenty of other animals. We saw waterbuck standing out there. We saw plenty of zebra on the other side. All animals that, that we could have hunted if we were after them, but we were after that, that nice bushbuck ram. And unfortunately, he just didn't come out, and, and that's the way hunting is. Yeah, I think the bushbuck, uh, the first attempt when we went out, uh, we, I think we must have got up to the spot I wanted to be at at about 7 o'clock that morning. It was a beautiful morning. I thought we were going to come right here because there was no wind and the rest of it. And within half an hour, I think about a wind picked up and, and it, it just turned turn from good to bad, you know, and um, that's hunting, you know, um, you go out in the morning, you think that you're going to come right, and um, you don't, uh, that's just the way things work out, and that's all just due to weather, a little bit of wind turned all of it, it was a bit dry as well. We went back to the lodge, we, we took a few hours just to have some coffee, relax a bit, rest up a bit, and then it was straight back out. Well, it's early afternoon now, and um, we're still looking for that elusive bushbuck. Uh, conditions have changed a bit, it's still nice and sunny, but the wind is blowing really strongly now. I'm guessing it's 20 mile an hour wind, so there's definitely not going to be any longer shots that are going down. We're not going to take risks like that, so we're going to have to get quite close. Um, but we've come up to the top of a mountain now, which is actually really beautiful. You can see some of the big open areas of the farm, you can see the, the valleys all the way down there, you can see the river winding through. Um, the only thing we haven't seen yet is the bushbuck, but that's just how it is. We, we're in the thick stuff here. Uh, it's not likely for a bushbuck to come right out into the open, so we just got to keep looking. Some bushbuck droppings here, Matt, you can see that they have been through here. Um, they're up in the top in the thick stuff here at the moment. The zebra have been through here as well. It's a bit dry down the bottom. So they're all at the top here trying to find some food. Let's see what we can do. And there's definitely was evidence of bushbuck, you know, we, we saw a lot of droppings and spur and the rest of it. And it's not that they're not there, it's just that they're elusive. Uh, and that's just how it works, you know, it's, it's, it's a hit and a miss with these spiral lawn animals at times. But it's, that's what makes hunting so fun and that's what uh, it makes it so challenging. Unfortunately, again, we were unsuccessful and so we decided to, to call it there and actually wait for the rain to fall so that we could have some more greenery coming out. And and wait for them to, you know, come out to the open more. The week after that hunting attempt, um, we actually had a lot of rain in the Eastern Cape and it was exactly what we were looking for. Graham phoned me up, he said, Matt, the bushbuck are going to be out, let's do this. And, and I came straight out and, and um, you know, as I drove into the property, I just saw Nyala everywhere. 
I saw kudu, I saw evidence that we were going to be successful. I just knew it. Matt arrived there, we walked down to a spot, we walked along the ridge and um, we sat and we glanced for about 15, 20 minutes and I'm, something caught my eye going from bush to bush. And I said to Matt, Matt, I'm sure that that's a bushbuck. I'm sure it is. And we walked a little bit further down on the crown side and um, we stood and we, we were covered by trees in front of us as well. We had a small gap to look out of. It was actually a beautiful setting. It's probably about 10 to 15 minutes later where this bushbuck came out perfectly out into the open, looked right towards us you know, broadside on, and it was all systems go. Out he came, that was it. It was, and a beautiful ram it was, you know, and um, it was an absolute stunner of a shot. It must have been about 230, 240 meters away. Um, and he hit him square on the shoulder, and I was watching through the camera, and I could see the way that he jumped. You know, it was, it was a beautiful, ethical shoulder shot, and he ran for about 20 meters and he went down. Oh, it's fantastic. I've got a bit of nerves. My first bushbuck. It's always, especially these spiral horned antelope that are more elusive that you don't see often. When you're lining up on them, it's this very special feeling and you, you can't get rid of the buck fever. So, oh, a bit of shaking, but, but he's down and I'm happy. Let's go find him. Unfortunately, after celebrating, my Matt and myself thinking, oh, we got everything on camera. It was, uh, we went back to look at the footage and it hadn't gone through to the memory card. And that's just one of those things, you know, it's, it's, it happens. Um, but uh, it was ethical hunting and the animal went down and yeah, you, you can see what we've got here. We've got some, some good genetics. Well, it's a bittersweet moment. Um, bittersweet because we checked and we, we just discovered that the memory card actually froze as soon as we pressed record. So we thought we had it on camera, but unfortunately we weren't able to see the actual shot. But uh, it's still, I've still got a big smile on my face because this is my first bushbuck and it's a beautiful ram. And the way it played out was just perfect. Uh, I held a bit up probably the top third of his body here and the entry is right over there exactly where I wanted it to be and from the looks of things it went straight through the the heart maybe just above the heart so perfect shot and he probably only ran about 50 meters so in that sense of things I'm very very happy I've got my first first bush buck down and I do have a special place in my heart for the the spiral horned antelope so this one's definitely going to go on my wall there's something incredibly rewarding about shooting something like a bushbuck which is elusive it's not something that you can take for granted you know it's a difficult hunt and i would say that was probably the most rewarding hunt of this trip it wasn't something that happened in one morning it was something that took time and it was something that i'll remember for the rest of my life really really special